You like a summer breeze, ooh summer breeze. She gon' be who she wanna be. I know she might up and leave. If I cheat, baby, please listen. Even ch blow up in chemistry. Tired of chasing, I'm a grown man. I need a woman. Baby, here's the lease. Your name is on it and I ain't bluffing. But he just talked about cheating. Greetings, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. These aspects in Vedic Sidereal, Western has changed drastically. At one point in time, they were on the same calendar. Western has been off for hundreds of years, and I don't think any of you guys are hundreds of years old. Vedic is the only thing that's actually been accurate. Um, so please check your Vedic Sidereal astrology chart. I will post a link for that in my description box so you can see what your planetary placements actually are because your western chart is not accurate. All that being said, I pulled a few cards for you guys off the bat uh, just to kind of shorten things. I'll still do the tarot in front of you. So we have Hera, the queen of pentacles. Now Hera is the jealous wife of Zeus, one of the sister wives of Juice, of <laughs> Juice of Zeus. She's one of the 12 Olympians. Um, she honors the peacock, the cow, and the lion. So peacock, cow, and lion are going to be strong power animals for you guys this month, this week, actually. This is from the 20th to the 30th. Uh, I'll do your May reading soon. So with Hera, you may have uh, some jealousy or your partner may have some jealousy. Remember, energies can be reversed. Now, there also may be third-party energy here because I also pulled the Empress card, three of fertility. Now, Hera is also goddess of fertility and motherhood, and the Empress is also motherhood and fertility. And we got Inguas as your rune, which is also a rune of fertility. So a lot of fertility here. So I just have to say, Virgo, um, use protection or, you know, some of you Virgos, congratulations if you're caring because there's a lot of fertility here. There's three cards of fertility and again there's three so the other part here is Hera you know jealous because Zeus had you know many affairs many wives all that jazz so even though Hera was number one she was like that wasn't good enough because she wanted just a union right so there is someone here that may be lingering and again this may not be for some Virgos but for some Virgos there's some someone who is definitely a Don Juan of sorts who does not want to totally commit. We also see that with the fertility with the Empress card. This also can signify a Libra, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. The Empress card with Cleopatra and Caesar are the, are the couple that is put on this Lover's Path tarot card and their relationship was convenient and it was mutually beneficial. So they had a secret affair, but they needed each other. Caesar needed Cleopatra's money for him to win over Rome and Cleopatra needed Caesar's army so that she could win. So essentially they needed each other, they used each other, and they also had a mutually beneficial la la bang 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 relationship going on. So again, another thing of a relationship that was started on a foundation of not a love honest union. So there's a lot of energy here of people are just together because it's convenient, they're together because it's beneficial, it's mutually beneficial, but there's not a real anchoring in of love, Virgo. And again, this is just for some of my Virgos. So those two cards may not apply for some of my Virgos, but for some of them definitely does. Next we have Inguas, and we see Inguas at first, he's in this barren dry rock, this rocky soil that is not fertile, you can't really plant things there, it's rock hard, we see stumps, he's hunched over, his life force, his vitality, the solar plexus energy, the yellow around him, the glow is dimming. And then we see that he's rising. We see that there's other things rising as well. Hmm. Uh, and his glow is rising, and then we see all of a sudden, the hard rock soil has become a whole forest abundant with trees. So this is definitely rising. This is really doing deep inner child work. Uh, as we see, this bottom picture is kind of simulated as the inner child. This is all about really going in and understanding that it's not until you know your own loneliness and know it well can you actually be whole enough to be genuine company for another. So perhaps the Caesar and Cleopatra is reminiscent of a past relationship or your past partnerships. Virgo, where in the past you just entered things because it was mutually beneficial, you know, whether that was just for the intimacy or just whatever it was, you felt like you looked well together, you felt like, you know, it was just convenient, you felt like it was suiting you at the time, but it wasn't actually like a genuine partnership. And same with Hera, you know, that she is one of the 12 Olympians, so, you know, she has this status thing going on. So you may have dated someone because of how they look, the status that's perceived, or you may have this idea around relationship that's not true authentic connection. So this is for some Virgos. And now you're kind of breaking out of that and you're understanding what is really re required for a relationship. This is also about introspection, introspection, <laughs> fertile, it's fertility, just as I've said a few times now. This is also about your inner growth and maturing. It's the alder tree, the apple tree, 
Amber and Moonstone are the two gems for it. It's all about your life force coming from within, not without. And this is from Small Seeds Grow Mighty Trees. This is all about the end of a cycle for new beginnings. This brings good news and it's telling you to spend more time in nature so that you can learn more about your own nature by observing the outer nature. This is all about believing in yourself and your ideas. The road calls for you, so it's time to move. Do not be passive. This is time for you to make action. Take action. Speak up. So if there's someone you want to talk to, someone you're going to reach out to, if there's something you're thinking about in the back of your mind, Virgo, this is the ready, set, go, telling you to go for it. This is also telling you to get out of your comfort zone. It's also alluding to very powerful chemistry and love, or a very powerful connection, very powerful magnetic feeling there. There's a lot of healing of the reproductive system. So again, lots of fertility here is to be had. So again, it's very powerful when it comes to the boom boom room. So, you know, just be cautious in that area if you're not necessarily wanting to have a child. And if you are caring, then congratulations. We have without expectations here. You are ready for partnership in a more full way, Virgo. You have been supported in your past and now you're ready to be the partner who can be depended upon. You're preparing yourself to support someone in a partnership, a true partnership, to allow another to truly rest on you and lean on you for a while, Virgo. It is not a burden and nor do you feel a martyred energy pouring forth from this place. This is a pure and a rightful gift for you. This is a pleasure for you to be able to offer support at this time to your partner. As you prepare to step into a new place of partnership, do so without any expectations. Do not seek approval, do not seek recognition. Do not expect to receive even appreciation, Virgo. Only in this way will you create a blessed gift to yourself as well as a blessed gift to your partner. Clair Charity, without any need for acknowledgement, is key and crucial. Your rewards will be immense. All right, Virgo, beautiful. And we have this young Arabian on the front page there with pink. So pink might be a powerful color for you to wear, pink and turquoise. Turquoise might be a powerful stone for you to work with and rose quartz to really kind of calm and cool. Also some pink opal, pink opal will be powerful. And mangano calcite, definitely. I'm just trying to connect we have Connect by Drake. Nothing was the same. Good album right there, so that may mean something for you. Uh, even though we have that Chris Brown summer breeze at the beginning. We have Dream Your Dreams, Virgo. Trust that the desires in your heart are placed there, and they're placed lovingly by the universe. You are meant to dream of what you dream. So for some of my Virgos, you may be dreaming about someone, and you're like, why am I dreaming about them? Why are they in my space? Because the universe is wanting you to reach out to them. The universe is wanting you to, you know, extend this. You are given your dreams for a reason, Virgo. So there's something that's happening in your dreams that the universe is trying to kind of like tap on your shoulder and be like, psst. Hey Virgo, hey Virgo. It's like pushing you towards someone. And we see literally, quite literally pushing, the white buffalo is pushing towards her, pushing her towards something. Next we have the blessings bestowed. There is no end to the divine mother's grace. No obstacle can obstruct her generosity or her protection, Virgo. So get used to the feeling of the joy of knowing something is truly Something truly precious is going to unfold in your life. Nurture that feeling like you would the readiness for spring in your heart when winter's upon you. You know it's coming and you anticipate it with such pleasure. And I also want to say back to uh, the cards of three, the energy of three, there may not be, you know, jealousy of another partner. For some of you, like I said, it's a baby. So for some of you guys, congratulations, you're carrying, you're, you're, or you're going to be getting pregnant soon. Um, for others, there is a third party energy, but I believe for those that there's a third party energy, you're not actually in a relationship. I don't think the ones who are in marriage need to worry per se. It, maybe some of you guys do, but I feel like you probably already know that. I feel like it's for people who are with Virgos or Virgos who haven't fully committed to someone. So Virgos who are dating, I feel like is where that Empress Don Juan energy of wanting your cake and eating it too and having multiple people that you're flirting with or entertaining. You may have like a main person and like a side piece. Um, yeah, I mean, that's definitely the case for some of my Virgos because Inguas is all about that male sexuality. And we have the tower in reverse this is your first energy. All right, towers are big life changes. In reverse though, you're either passing a blind eye, we have the star crossing you, a gift. We have the eight of pent three of pentacles in reverse as your subconscious. So three of pentacles, beginning of starting something subconsciously, you're thinking about changing, you're thinking about a new grounded change, a new change in work, but it's not happening with the tower in reverse. 
and the star crossing. It's almost like you wanted to try for something, but then the universe is like, no, you are meant for something different. You're meant for the star. The star can be an Aquarian, someone with Aquarius. Uh, Saturn and Aquarius could be changing, bringing these changes to you. The tower in reverse could be, I mean, I just have to say it, um, and with the three of pentacles in reverse, which is earth energy in reverse with the tower in reverse. Some of you guys, some of my Virgos could be um, terminating a pregnancy during this time, or they already have, or they're about to. And then some of you guys with the star here, you're bringing a child in. You know, the star is like a gift. It's kind of like dancing in. For some of you, you're making lemonade out of lemons. Page of cups in reverse is what's crowning you. Three of Cups in reverse is your past energy. Yep, Three of Cups in reverse and Three of Pentacles in reverse. There's definitely an energy of three here. We have three, we have so many threes that there's definitely like an external, an extra energy in your field. And for some of you guys where it's not like a third party romantically, it could be third party like someone's mother, someone's father is just like always there. They're like always, you know, looming around. Like you, you didn't realize that when you married your spouse, you also married like their whole family. And then you didn't realize just how much they really talk to their parent or something. And you're like, great, I'm now just not married to my husband. I'm married to his mom too, or something like that. You have death in reverse as your future energy. So that's Scorpio energy saying no to a Scorpio, but death in reverse, there's something that you're going to resurrect here. And with the tower energy in reverse and the death in reverse, it's like you really thought something was over. You thought that this was like the end of something. You were sure of it, but that three of pentacles in reverse and the page of cups in reverse as your crown. It's like you want, I say the page of cups is like a student of love. He's curious about love, but it's in reverse. So you're not communicating something. You're being quiet. It's like you have this love cup that you want to offer or page of cups could be, again, a child, a child of love. So again, there is a very strong energy of a child present here for some of my Virgos. But again, for some of my Virgos, there's a termination here. For some of them, with that death in reverse, you're thinking about termination, but you're not going to. You're actually going to have it. Eight of Swords in reverse on your path energy is, you know, you at first were caught up in these cobwebs and you're having all these nightmares and you're scared about things and you're worrying. But in reverse, you're putting your worries behind you and you're stepping up to more responsibility. So you're kind of facing this head on with a star energy. Like you and your spouse at first were like nervous about bringing a child in during everything going on right now and then you kind of have this like nope you know what I'm not gonna be nervous about it we're going to step up you have like a moment where you just get really excited the surge you have the star energy come into you where you just have the surge of belief and understanding and deep love between you two and so you decide that you're going to bring this into the world this is a very interesting reading for this is very specific for some of my Virgos so if this is not you it's not you Oh my gosh, who you're dealing with is the sun. And you guys, the sun is also a child energy. The sun is also fertility and birth. And this is your environment. So for some of my Virgos, you're definitely pregnant. You're definitely caring. For some of my Virgos, um, like I said, for some of my Virgos, you're definitely terminating it. Some of my Virgos are keeping it. There's energy for both here with the page of cups in reverse and the tower in reverse. But then that death is in reverse. So it's like for some of my Virgos with the sun upright and the death in reverse and the eight of swords in reverse, you're deciding it's the best thing to go through and have this. And again, for those who it's not a child, um, the hermit, your own card, hopes, dreams, and fears. Walking the path alone, being nervous about maybe being a single parent if this was a hookup situation. Um, for some of my Virgos, hopes, dreams, and fears is you're just really finding out who you are. The Hermit is all about the greater esoteric knowledge. It's about really knowing thyself. The final energy, Five of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning, but it's in reverse with the Five of Swords fighting here. So there could be some fighting energy about keeping it or not keeping it. <laughs> Again, if there's not a child involved here, is just so specific. There's just like a, a new beginning that's not happening with the three of pentacles in reverse and the ace of pentacles in reverse. And it could be because of everything going down in the world right now. You can't travel, you know, work's being shut down. So it's like you were going to start a new job. You're going to start something new. You had this, you had a bunch of business ideas and 
things that were going to come to fruition, Virgo, and it can't right now. It's on halt, and it's leaving you in this Five of Swords kind of challenging energy. Uh, swords are all about the mental space, and then Fives are all about, you know, challenges and obstacles. But you are in the Hermit energy, which is your own em energy, Virgo, and we all must go through the light. We see the light that he is shining here as he goes through his journey, the Hermit's journey. He must walk by himself, and we see in the Five of Swords, he's by himself, and we see behind him that same light. We see the fire, and we see the war kind of diminished behind him. He has all these shields down on the ground, but he has his swords ready across his belt. So he is ready. Swords are all about words. So you may be speaking to someone, cutting truth to someone. You may be speaking to someone that is ending a relationship, ending a partnership. You may be speaking to someone ending this you know, if there's like the third party, you may be ending the third party situation so that you can reach out and commit to someone else for my single Virgos and you're coming out of the battle and you're deciding, you know, you don't want to have this new beginning with this person that you thought. Um, and then with the death in the reverse, you might be wanting to resurrect something. So you might be kind of cleaning up the extras, the side pieces, so that you can go back and try and resurrect a relationship. Because with the tower in reverse, a tower can be Aries or Scorpio. And with the tower in reverse, you are wanting to resurrect something. Like this relationship completely ended. It's just like, poof, it's completely ended. But in reverse, you're like wondering. You're like, can I make this happen again? So for some of my Virgos, it's like, this is re the rebirth of relationship. You're like, can we bring this back to life? Like... Can I have it? Can I have it? And so that's why you have the Page of Cups in reverse crowning you because it's still the Page of Cups energy. You're like thinking about it. You're like wondering. You're still lingering. You're thinking about this person. This person, you see them as the star and maybe the relationship ended because of a third party energy and they caught you or you caught them. So someone caught someone of third party energy and right now work is halted. So you're like thinking about this relationship. You're thinking about what, what went wrong or the three of pentacles in reverse is like you were beginning to build a foundation with this person you were like ready but because of this third party energy and just like playing around the person walked away or you walked away and so it sent the whole relationship up into a tower and because it sent everything up into a tower you know it it created a death situation but you're hoping for a future energy of death in reverse you're hoping for an energy of resurrecting this you're hoping that the star can bless this energy and so your higher self is thinking with this page of cups but you aren't extending you're not speaking on it you're just kind of hoping that the universe is going to make it happen virgo or you're hoping they're going to reach out because like they're the sun so they're illuminated but you're the eight of swords in reverse so the eight of swords in reverse has decided you know okay i can't be stuck here anymore the eight of swords upright is super stuck. Now sometimes the Eight of Swords in reverse can be even more stuck and confused. So you're either coming out of a place of being stuck or you're just super stuck. You're being the hermit right now. You're being quiet. You're silently hoping and wishing that you can, you know, come together with this person because they're the sun to you. They bring so much warmth and happiness and peace to your life. But maybe you've recently talked to them and it ended up with the Ace of Pentacles. They shot you down or you shot them down and it ended up in a fight. And so it's kind of like a to be continued thing. So lots of different storylines here, you know, pregnancy here, there's uh, married couples who are working through something, you know, deciding if they're going to keep a child or not. A child is definitely trying to come in. There's also energy of uh, someone here that had a past relationship, that had a third party energy kind of infiltrating their space. That third party, again, could be like a mother, doesn't necessarily have to be a intimate person, but it's like there's another energy here or their family. It's like there's something that's always like stepping in and like butting into the relationship. And that has caused the beginning, the ace of pentacles of this relationship for it to really head, hit off to end and it's causing that distress and trouble which is leaving it in a five of swords energy so again this is just from the 20th to the 30th virgo will see if any of these things change come may so i'll see you shortly for your may readings